one thing that I have always lo- that I've loved about you and your work, and one thing that inspires me is you encourage people. I'm going to say men here, especially you encourage men not just to have the good physical a- external strength, but you seem to incorporate a lot of internal strength into those men as well, encouraging them with their mental health, their relational health. Every part of them needs to be strong. That's something I learned when I was on your podcast a few months ago. Is I have focused on my mental strength and my emotional strength i need to fix up my body and a lot of men are that way or a lot of men are the other way they've done all body work but no mind work i love your your three-prong approach there is that something that uh you stumbled into during the course of your life is that something that's been intentional well it's it's a bit of an illusion that you can effectively work on one without the other i think um in in you know just taking a step back I, I, you know, I have a deep passion for, for helping people uh, through health and fitness. So that's, you know, health and fitness is like a, my favorite hobby, but I really love people. And uh, after I'd say five years of doing it, I, you know, I had some honest conversations with myself. Was I really effective? Was I really helping people in the truest sense, in the sense where um, they would accomplish, you know, achievements with their health and fitness, but they were able to maintain them? for the rest of their lives? And the answer was no, I actually was failing. So uh, that led me down a a journey of really trying to figure out, well, how could I get non-fitness fanatics, right? The average person, how can I get them to do this and figure it out for themselves in a way where it sticks? Uh, Because, you know, and I'm gonna speak big here now, a lot of our problems in modern societies um, are the result of poor health. Um, and, And when I say poor health, I mean that in the, the complete sphere. And again, they all communicate to each other, right? So poor physical health can make mental health a lot worse and and vice versa. And um, yeah, that was just the journey. And so a lot of the conversations used to be or or originally were around um, the the how, right? The ones and zeros. Here's the exercises. Here's the food um, that you need to eat. Here's what you need to avoid. And that's all important. Uh, But I I did find that my conversation started moving towards more of the root. Why is this so challenging? Why do we reach for the things that we reach for and eat the things that we eat? Why, Why don't we take care of ourselves like we are people that we care about? 